is Aliyah and welcome back to my kitchen. If you've been watching me for a while, you probably know how much I love sweets and chocolate. I'm always in the lookout for some good chocolate cake recipe. And today I'm going to share with you one of the most chocolatey, moist, strong personality chocolate cake ever. And on top of that, we're going to soak it in cocoa syrup. This chocolate cake recipe is to die for. So let's start! First, let's mix the dry ingredients. In a large bowl, sift the flour and the cocoa powder. Mix with a whisk. Then add the baking powder and a pinch of salt. Done! Now let's mix the wet ingredients. Here we have the butter, but it's at room temperature. It has to be soft. Beat the butter for one minute with an electrical beater to make it creamy. Add the powdered sugar into three times and beat in between until well integrated before adding more sugar. Add the vanilla. Here I am using a super flavorful vanilla paste. You can use vanilla extract, ground ginger, cinnamon or whatever spice you like. In a small bowl, lightly beat the eggs. Then add them to the butter mixture and beat in for 30 seconds. Finally, add the heavy cream and quickly beat it with the butter. Then switch to a spatula to mix in the melted chocolate. Delicious! You will get a super smooth velvety butter chocolate mixture. Let's join forces and get the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. Add the dry mixture to the butter mixture little by little while mixing with the spatula until well integrated. Add the boiling water little by little to the chocolate batter and continue mixing. You will notice that the batter will become smoother and creamier. Place the batter in a baking pan covered with parchment paper. Use the spatula to smooth the surface. And to the oven that you have preheated to 360 Fahrenheit degrees, which is 180 Celsius degrees. Bake the cake for around 50 minutes. 10 minutes before the cake is ready, make the syrup. All you have to do is place water, sugar and cocoa powder in a saucepan and heat up on medium heat until the syrup reaches a boiling point. Our cake is ready. When you touch the surface in the middle of the cake, it should feel firm and springy to the touch, but not hard. Pour the syrup on the cake. You can make holes with a toothpick so that the syrup gets all inside the cake. And that's it! The hardest part is to wait for the cake to absorb all the syrup. Ideally, you should leave it overnight. But I personally cannot wait that long, so I'm going to steal a piece after only one hour of waiting. Check this out. This is the moistest cake ever. So chocolatey, so soft, so yummy. Bon appétit!